Pues bienvenidos a todos. Welcome. Welcome to everybody tonight. Dialogue. And the way we are trying to develop dialogue with the guerrillas, the paramilitaries, the military and the government, and also with the entrepreneurs there. Let's go to a different continent, Colombia. In Colombia, I've been working since 1988. Colombia in this hemisphere is a context that has the longest standing open warfare of any place in this hemisphere and now nearly in the world. It was in the meditation about human dignity that we realized the significance of dialogue. See the importance for us to have the opportunity of learning from you, Paul, who are working to promote the common good through the use of dialogue, discernment, and, the, and democratic, democratic deliberation. And how to build organized political and social life that is responsive to fundamental human needs. Such a web cannot be created except through genuine and sustained dialogue and the building of authentic relationships. And I read that, and that just speaks to what the Institute was about. Uh, Father Sheeran created it about eight years exactly for that purpose, to bring people together from all walks of life, um, to build trust, to work together, to build peace, to, to really work for the common the good. The question is, how exactly have people, in some of the settings that have been the deepest and hardest hit by cycles of repeated violence, not over a year or two, but over decades and sometimes generations. How have people in especially local communities, at moments where it was least expected, found ways to actually create an enormous impact on their particular community that had echoes out into the wider situation? How did they transcend these cycles of violence while still living in them. They require a transformation in the way that the world handles conflict between nation states, between religions, between cultures. We are not supporting the people we are talking to. We are not giving legitimacy to the guerrillas or to the paramilitaries. We are struggling together to be consistent with our commitment with human dignity. We are discovering together that we all are responsible of what is going on in Colombia. Is there some possibility that you know, we could take what we have learned in connection with community disputes, um, marital disputes, labor management disputes, all of these things that we've become familiar with and accomplished at, and turn them into some kind of transformation of the ways in which people, countries, uh, cultures, religions interact with each other. So I did the only thing I could do. I told him the truth. I said, Commander, I cannot guarantee your life or your safety. The only thing that I can guarantee you, and then Abdul swung his arm into mine around that tea time table, just like he did with the commander. The only thing I can guarantee you is that if you walk down this mountain, I will walk down with you. And if they shoot you, they will shoot me. You know, we understood that we have to work together. The medium Mandalena has to be built up with all the inhabitants and the social actors, or it is impossible. And we meant everybody. When we think of uh, ecology, when we think of nature, when we think of the environment, we think of it as something other than ourselves. Uh, but actually, we are the environment. We're as much a part of it as anything else. And the fact of our presence in the environment is, in fact, creating massive, uh, significant problems that I think that you will discover after the end of this conversation uh, can really only be solved by all of us together, pulling together and doing something uh, about the conditions that we live under. And while she was laying there, she said to herself, this has got to stop. 
The following day, she found four or five other women. Four of them had been returning from a wedding and had got caught in the same crisscross of fire. One of them had been injured. They gathered and began to, to sit down to say, basically, what do we know about this place? And what do we know that we can do? Perhaps we never see the final, we will never see the final result of our efforts. Any day, everything could be destroyed. But there is an energy, the inner force coming from the experience of our dignity, coming from the community, coming from people like you, supporting us, supporting us, inspiring us, moving us to continue to keep going. Thank you.